Hey everybody, I'm Pastor Sean. I'm honored to bring you today's word for the day. So, I just got a new phone, and in the process of getting a new phone, I have to transfer the content from my old phone to my new phone. And right away, as I was starting the process of transferring data, I realized how much clutter I actually had. This might be the sixth or seventh phone that I have rolled my data over from previous phones. And so you can imagine through several years of collecting apps and photos and documents, my phone just had a lot of clutter on it. And as I'm sitting there with my brand new phone that was completely empty of clutter, I had the urge to just not transfer the data over. Now, I didn't because I wanted all those old pictures of my son and daughter, but it, it got me thinking about something. Our minds work very similar to our phones. And over time, we can end up collecting so many things that clutter our brain. But instead of apps and cute photos of babies, we end up collecting hurts and traumas, bad habits, sinful habits, anger and hate, sadness, depression. And over time, because these things are stored in our mind, they end up controlling our lives. And if left unchecked, like my phone, you might wake up one day and realize just how broken and cluttered and loud your mind has become. And it may feel completely out of your control. Romans 12, one through two tells us this. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you'll be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. So regardless of what struggles you have with your mind, no matter what clutters it, no matter how different your issues may be from one another, Here's one thing I'm positive about. God can renew your mind. He can declutter it. He can clean it. He can heal it. Mental illness, depression, anger, hurts, habits, or hangups. For those who believe in Jesus and offer their whole lives to him, he is renewing your mind. And you need to know, he isn't just decluttering your mind so it can get cluttered again. No, Jesus is transforming your mind to be more like his. Jesus helps you to let go of all the worthless things of this world and care more about what he cares about. And what does Jesus care about? Jesus' mind is focused on two things. His mind is focused on serving others and pointing people to the Father, to God, to himself. Matthew 20, 28 says, The Son of Man did not come to serve, but to ser not come to be served, but to serve and give his life as a ransom for many. And John 6, 38 tells us, For I have come down from heaven to do the will of God who sent me, not to do my own will. Jesus wants you to focus on what's important, loving others and loving God. So Calvary, have you asked yourself recently, what thoughts are controlling your mind? Do you have any thoughts that stop you from loving those around you or even loving God? How about this? When was the last time you served somebody without any expectation? When was the last time you came to your Father in heaven and thanked him for saving you from a life of sin? If you struggle with a cluttered and loud mind, talk to Jesus about it. Don't let these things stop you from doing the will of the Father and serving and loving others. Jesus can help. Have a great day, Calvary.